to my channel. I'm Ruthie and I'm getting ready to make some peanut butter cookies. So the first thing I did do was preheat my oven to 350 because I want my cookies to go right into the oven once I'm done making the um, cookie dough. So I am going to actually mix just the wet ingredients right now and then I'll do the dry in a little bit. So for the wet ingredients you're going to need um, some sugar, some white sugar, some brown sugar and I will leave the full recipe down in the description box below as well it'll be on my website ruthiecancook.com so I'm also adding in the two eggs and I'm going to give this a mix as well so that way this part is incorporated I'm just going to do this in stages you can throw everything in and then um, mix it but I just incorporate as I go along so that way I make sure that all my ingredients are well combined so the next thing I'm going to do is add in my vanilla because it's very important to have vanilla in your cookies. And it's about a teaspoon of vanilla. Again, recipe will be linked down below. And then I'm going to add in the shortening as well. And this is about a half a cup of shortening that I am putting in. And this shortening is one of those, um, I think this is Crisco, and they come in little um, like butter, butter um, sticks. I really enjoyed having these instead of a big tub of uh, shortening so I will look for those more often when I'm baking. Just make sure everything is well incorporated. Then we're going to move on to the next step and we are going to add in the peanut butter. So what I didn't do was spray the cup with some nonstick spray to help me get the peanut butter out a little bit better than what I had been doing because I had a little bit of a struggle with peanut butter but it worked out because it got it out and we are going to mix it all up and make sure it is incorporated with everything else in this part Okay, so now I'm going to incorporate the wet ingredients with the dry, and the dry consists of flour, baking powder, and salt. Again, recipe will be linked down below. So I was having, um, trying to figure out the best way to get to scoop this peanut butter batter out without making a mess, but of course that, that just never happens. I made a mess, but that's okay. I'm baking and... Baking always comes out with messes. So once I get this into the bowl, I am going to uh, mix both of them together. And you want to make sure you incorporate everything very well. Um, I did have problems with the hand mixer. I don't know what's going on with the hand mixer today, but it just it didn't like me. Um, it wasn't working the way I wanted it. So I ended up just stopping and hand mixing it by hand because I it was frustrating. So the next thing I am going to do is uh, I lined a baking sheet with some aluminum foil and then I sprayed it too and I am using a cookie scoop to actually uh, put the cookies out so that way they're all the same size. My mistake was I should have used the smaller scoop. I it's a, It was a set of three and I used the medium one instead of the small one. So my cookies were a little bit bigger than they should have been. However, they're still good. But if you want to make three dozen two to three dozen out of this per um nicely then you need to use a smaller cookie scoop which i did not do so i made almost two dozen but this can make three dozen easily if you use a smaller scoop so i'm going to um, use a fork to do the imprint that peanut butter cookies have um because my dough is a little bit um um my cookie dough on these are a little bit bigger i smooshing some of them down just so that way I know they will cook evenly which is fine but when you do it just make sure you use a small cookie um, scoop and you won't have to do what I just did like that another good tip is you want to dunk your fork into water before you put it on the cookie otherwise it will stick to the dough so dunk your fork in water press the cookie and then slightly lift it up like you're doing a rocky mo rocking motion 
and the, the pork will come right off the cookie without sticking. And these are starting to smell amazing and they're not even cooked yet. Oh my goodness, can't wait. So this is the final product. They just came out the oven. They are still piping hot. They need to um, cool for a good 15 to 20 minutes. You don't want to eat them right away because they're just too hot to eat. But these are crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, the perfect cook peanut butter cookie to have. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you tried these, this recipe, please let me know down in the comments below. And I will talk to you in the next one.